of little six-year-old kids riddled, not shot with a stray bullet, riddled, riddled with bullet holes. Startling imagery invoked by Vice President Joe Biden as he meets with groups that defend gun ownership. At the same time, the sound of gunfire echoed from another American classroom, a 16-year-old shot and injured in California, another student in custody after a teacher convinced him to put down his gun. He had several, uh, maybe as many as 20 rounds of shotgun uh, in his pocket, shotgun rounds, and so we don't know what might have happened, and uh, this is a tragedy, but not uh, as bad as we think it might have been. That didn't change the outcome of what seems from this released picture to have been a tense meeting at the White House with the biggest pro-gun group, the National Rifle Association. It called the meeting disappointing and it plans to take its case to Capitol Hill, where it has many allies. Even though when it comes to lobbying and giving campaign contributions, the NRA is far from the biggest spender, paying about $19 million in the last election. It didn't get much for its money. According to one analysis, the NRA had less than a 1% success rate getting its people in or out of Congress. Its power comes from its membership, which the group says has grown by 100,000 people in just the last few weeks people like Chris Schneider. This is just a semi-automatic uh, uh, varmint rifle, which has been portrayed in the media as an evil black gun, which it is not. Um, I use it to, you know, hunt coyote um, in small game. Congress will likely hear from people like him. Those on the other side of the issue have far less to spend. The, the gun control groups, I would say, used to be more of a force to be reckoned with. They have really, in effect, been neutered on some level over the last 10 or 20 years. Vice President Joe Biden says he will make his recommendations to the president on Tuesday. We expect that President Barack Obama will make his case to the American public not long after that. Patty Culhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.